Yo, what up, guys? It's Five D here. This weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, there is an event coming up which will give you a chance of obtaining this legendary champion that is part of the Asgard Divide that has been even in the news more than the other bigger champions, more than Odin himself. Her name is Freya. She will be dangled in front of players again in Rage Shadow Legends. Yes, I say dangled because this is not going to be given to you outright like it was promised. This is not the event that you want to obtain Freya from. But if you have no choice but to pull your shards this weekend for the ongoing deck of fate, you have a 15x boosted chance of obtaining Freya. Amongst other legendaries I'll talk about, but she's going to be the highlight of this weekend for those players who have already decided they are pulling their shards for the deck of fate. I'm one of those who have not skipped out on someone wrote her champion chase yet, so I went for every titan event point, so I have not missed any. This deck of fate is going to be the one that I missed 200 points from, but if you are looking for those 200 points from the deck of fate or less point, maybe 100 points, you have a chance of getting a freya when you're opening your shards. So whether you're using ancient shards, primal shards or sacred shards, you have a 15x boosted up to a 15x. 25x maximum and of getting this champion if you keep pulling your shards after getting legendaries 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 you know how 15x events work it starts with 15x but it goes up to 20x and 25x if you keep pulling your shards so that's the champion that you have in one slot or amongst with other champions if you want to add them instead if you don't like her for some reason you have option of adding maybe a wither the crown um, a glass glaciard of the meltwater vault keeper wixwell and even a tyrant elixomor so those are the champions that have one slot to be added in this um, event if you're opening ancient shards primal shards and even secret shards now for the void category you have to hanarak and krisk the ageless two legendary champions you can only add one in one slot and all coming this event is going friday saturday and sunday so you cannot have only one slot for them on a different day it's not a different set of champions these are all the champions that will be available for you to have in one slot if you have no choice but to pull your shots this weekend for the ongoing deck of fate because you want so bad to complete that titan event no it's not a tournament it's a titan event if you go over there this is the main reason that is making people pull shots those players who have decided to pick up the 1500 and have already skipped out on 200 or 300 um hammer point somewhere they have no choice but to go for this deck of fate i'm glad i'm not one of those players i already picked up 2000 i mean 1270 points and i will skip these 200 points that is currently in this deck of fate right here so i'm really, really glad about this and um, yeah everybody expected it to be a freer but here you go this is the freer that is attached to it well not quite but they still expect to release another event for the freer maybe during the fusion for the month of october maybe after the fusion we don't know there's still time going on for this asgard divide events right so there's still time on that same weekend you have one slot to add one of these epic champions you got a seeker you got a steel score you got a tagoa and also frenzy the kakla and a cardinal so that's the epic champions you can have just in one slot if you're pulling your shards this weekend so if you're really looking forward to any of these epics there you go and for newer players i'll have to say if you're not going for this deck of fate this weekend is not time for to push shards at all we just have to bring you this news so you are aware of what is coming today is thursday so maybe you can begin to save maybe know which day you want to pull your shards or which champion you want to add to one of the slots don't just go in there and hit that someone without actually putting one of these champions except if you really don't want the freer then you can go ahead so there's a lot of negative feedback surrounding this deck of fate event but if you missed out on something yes you feel bad about it but if you is this, if this is the one you've been looking forward to skipping then you don't feel bad about this event at all what i felt bad about it is this dungeon divers that is now coming up so late in this group of events that we've been doing imagine doing two dungeon events without the dungeon divers attached to them it felt so bad what am i talking about i think it's the spider that just ended and the ongoing um what do you call him now the special event dungeon odin odin trial has 21 hours so you're doing odin trial and you're doing the um, you did the spider tournament without a dungeon divers two dungeon events that had no dungeon divers attached to them did not feel so good to be honest why was i going for this event dungeon not just because of the 80 um, points right here for this hammer points but i also went all the way for this 35 um prism crystals yes don't forget the prism crystals is still you're still able to leave it right here you can see i'm not claiming this one right 
I'm leaving it right here because I do not like what I see in this summoning pool. I do, I've already picked up 35 by mistake in the last event I did. I think it was in the spider, right? I picked up 35 by mistake and I didn't intend to, but I picked it up. So I'm going to save the other one for the next time. This one will be automatically summoned for me if I don't summon it. I have no choice, but I hope to wait until we see Friday whether a champion chase will be attached to this summoning event and see whether that will be the best time to summon and see whether I will strike gold for any of these champions on the list or come back with nothing. So, that's all the news that is happening in Raid this morning. A 15x event that has a chance of getting a freer if you are one of those pulling shots. I'm glad I'm not one of them. Did your clan win CVC? Because if you go over there, I did my best to hit over the 400 mark and I'm expecting another sacred shards to add to my list right here because I'm lacking sacred shards and we're coming into a fusion for the month of October and we need sacred shards, right? So I'm picking up one right here. I'm also going to be picking up another sacred shard from the Doom Tower top of the floor hard mode. A sacred is waiting for me at the top right here. So all this one can go towards the fusion. That's what we do when we are preparing for a fusion that is coming up in 30th September. Yes, I'm one of those who go for every fusion in raid, even if it's one that I will never use, never summon, leave in my fragments or only use for um, CVC points. That's all I'm going to spend my time and resources on. Fusions, I guess, because they keep coming up back to back. So if you're doing your fusion prep, chase after everything you can to get these sacred shards, pick them up and save them. I'm also getting a voice shard right here some chickens legendary skill tom cvc just ended and i did my best i did say i was gonna spend my books this time around right i did my best to get uh what's his name our newest champion in the game ready for any content that he needs to be in i'm talking about books i did finally put maximum books on him during cvc took him to 60 started putting his um, blessings on him and yeah very soon you'll see him in content he still doesn't have masteries yet because masteries farming during cvc wasn't the best fastest way of doing it so i went into the um what do you call it now the iron twins fortress and other ways to get cvc points because i was doing these marius missions that drained a lot of my gems i'm not gonna start farming this 20 mythical artifact from any dungeon right now because tomorrow we see an ice golem coming up and the ice golem will pair with this dungeon diver so i'll wait until then to see if i can pick up paste a gun on my marius missions i keep pushing it so that's the only thing that is happening on my account today cvc ended prepping a lot of things for marius missions prepping for a fusion and at the same time saving everything i can in terms of this author also summons and shards that i think might help me get the upcoming fusion or even the upcoming deck of fate or hero spot that will give us this um champion we've all been expecting right freya all right that's all i have for you guys this morning i'll be going live on twitch.tv for slash describe to play on the noob to pro because currently this energy that i have maxed up right here i'm not gonna leave it there i'm gonna start farming um this content iron twins fortress again and spend 15 150 gems to pick up extra keys because i'm trying to get more soul stones i'm trying to get more soul stones to see if i can you know pick up if that's how freya will be released to us or i'll just get a six star perfect soul for one of my crazy champions that i use that's the content i'm spending my energy on today you can also do some fusion prep in terms of champion training you can decide to go farm a particular dungeon i'm waiting for that ice golem i'm waiting for that dungeon divers i've completed my odin um dungeon events and I did farm a lot of good accessories and good artifacts. Finally, I have enough to at least build one champion in that new set that we all got from this Odin boss. I think I have enough to build one champion at least in that set. So, all right, guys, make sure you like and subscribe for more daily raid content. This is just your normal daily raid news drop. It's not an exciting one, but for those players who have no choice but to go for that deck of fate event, you have no choice but to pick up that 200 your Freya might drop in your lap for you. You might be lucky to say you picked up your Freya while going for a catch flip that you do not like. But I don't think it's the best one. It's very low chance 15x. Except you're an endgame player who is spending a lot of money. You're pushing up to that 25x of getting a Freya. Now, if you get three legendaries and you still don't get a Freya, four legendaries still don't get a Freya, you will say 15x event, 25x event is a scam. And that's why I don't think these events are worth going for. Anyways, see you guys in the next one.